Hello, my friends, esteemed colleagues and family. A question came to talk a little bit about charcoal and not necessarily the medicinal one, the activated charcoal. Well, with all my uh, work, somehow myself I neglected to take a closer look at charcoal. So this question made me think and without furthering any research now, I'm just going to implant some information that may um, spark interest so you yourself can do some research on this. I know that activated charcoal has been used in medicine basically for digestive problems and it was attributed to the high absorption that it does. So you had gas, you have diarrhea, you take one pill of bioactivated charcoal and you feel better. Diarrhea may go away. So, um, how powerful is this stuff? And how can this small pill of charcoal absorb so much toxicity that it stops diarrhea or gets rid of that gas? I mean, it's a small pill. Well, there are many other stuff, like black goo, highly medicinal. Put it on a skin where you have wart, wart falls off. And not only it falls off, but it never comes back. It keeps um, the tissue, regrows, fills in without scar. Now, what is this stuff with these black things going on? Well, one thing is known that black goo, same as the charcoal, they are carbon structures. Now we call it carbon structure because that's under this name we know this sacred geometry. Again, to start understanding things, we have to go into vibration and into sacred geometry. What is the typical form that carbon makes? Hexagon. Now, where are we using this? hexagon and what what are the properties of this geometrical structure well they depend on further build up of the geometric structure so if it is in single layer we have graphene graphene is being used now to be weaponized against our body but originally also graphene is being used for energetic purposes. It's highly electroconductive with a strong electromagnetic, electromagnetic properties. Well, is it the carbon, the atom, or is it the structure? Well, we have the same structure, hexagonal tubular structure made in honeycombs. Now honeycombs 
create a special electromagnetic field. It was discovered by, we can call him scientist in Russia. Again, I forgot his name. I wrote about it one article uh, years ago where this scientist was, you know, taking walk through nature whenever he had chance and um, once laying on the ground he felt strange nauseous uneasy so he got up and when he moved from that spot he started feeling better it was just in that one spot so he started checking out what is it with that spot and he discovered that underneath is a cave with many honeybees and honeycombs. So he started to investigate about the hexagonal structure, formation. And then he discovered that under certain parameters, certain size, again we are here talking about golden fee. He wrote a book about it, which of course it's difficult to get. I, I did not manage to get it. Plus I also, you know, I'm in jungle. Uh, and I heard about it when I think when I was here already. So it was probably about six years ago or so. So what he managed to do he managed to do, make a platform about one meter by one meter, about, I, again, I don't know exactly. I'm sure that some of you heard about it and please put down in a comment his name and uh, information about him. And uh, he made a little um, handle on it and when he st stood on this strap platform that has underneath structure of honeycombs, hexagonal tubes. Under control of his mind, he could levitate it and he could fly at speeds in excess of 1,000 kilometers an hour with his head on, which means that this geometric structure has created its own ambient. So there was no resistance of air. He could levitate, I think, one kilometer or more above the ground and travel with high speeds. Now, of course, all this science is suppressed, stolen away, not to be given to general public. It is for the cabal to use. Uh, hopefully now, after we clean this mess up, we will have access to this as well. Well, what I'm going to is that the property of activated charcoal is not a property of carbon and it is not about its absorption. It is about energetic manipulation. And um, again, it doesn't matter if it is in a form of carbon, black as we see it, well, diamond is different structure of so-called carbon and it's transparent, crystal. So again, we see it's not about, a, it's not about the element, the, atom, as we are being told. 
it is all about geometric structures. And there is something about a hexagonal structure that has very strong electromagnetic properties. That's how our brain is basically programmed to present it. So, when we research this, when we talk about the charcoal, well, think of it as sacred geometry. Think of it as hexagonal structure. Could be very thin layer or building up in longer and longer and longer stretches. Where do we find these long stretches of hexagonal structure? Well, we can find it in a stone that indicates that was organic living being there before. And some people think that these are remnants of gigantic trees. But as Roger from uh, Mount Fossil University is revealing, could may as well be a bone, remnants of bones of giants. So, again, it's a geometric structure. Somehow this hexagonal geometric structure is, with its electromagnetic field, influencing changes, energetic changes, within our body. So, the gas is being reprogrammed, transferred, transformed, and it basically turns into something else that we detoxify that we don't even see. It ceases to be gas. Diarrhea stops. Why? Well, there was definitely some vibrational change, change which now is being registered by brain and manifested in a different way. Now, how exactly all this works? Well, we are now starting to dig into it. So, it will take a little bit thinking, observing, meditating, and yeah, step by step we'll get to the truth. Right now we know that if we have digestive problems and we want to ease the pain, especially when we are bloated, gas, well, take bioactivated charcoal. Only now it's not easy to find because purpose of modern medicine is not to heal. It is actually to make us sicker. So we consume more and more toxic medic medicaments, poisons, to offset one toxicity replaced with another one that will require another medication and then another. And then we are medicated with 10, 12, 15, 20 medication daily without which we cannot live. That's what we are being told. Unless we have courage to dump them in the garbage and start detoxifying ourselves. So, again, interesting question. I'm sorry for not being able to reveal more about it because I simply am not aware of more details unless I start focusing on this and meditating on this, and this may take some time, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll get more information as it comes. But thank you for the question and uh, putting my focus now on something else to try to um, get more information on. But definitely forget about chemistry, biochemistry 
and focus on geometry, physics, mathematics, because this is how we discover how the brain is wired and uh, how we can use this better. But right now, important thing is to understand that the geometric structure of hexagon, hexagon is one of the most efficient and it is the most used in our reality, especially in reality of living beings. And it greatly influences our lives. This is as much as I can say right now. Thank you for the question. Till next time, love you all.